All right, this is a tough problem. I've actually been working on it for a while. So a motorboat heads upstream a distance of 24 miles on a river whose current is running at three miles an hour. The trip up and back takes six hours. So I know that if I go, so I don't know my speed. My speed is X. So if I take X, let's use some units. So miles per hour. And then I'm going to multiply that by T hours. So then I'm just in miles. And I know that that takes 24, that's 24 miles. So if I take, but here's the thing. This is not just X because there's a current. So when I'm going one way, I'm going X, the speed the boat's going, plus the three miles an hour. And that's how I'm going to get the 24. But then on the other side of it, I'm going to have X minus three miles an hour. <coughs> Excuse me. And then how long am I going? I'm not going the full T because I'm doing the six hours minus how long it took that time. And that should also get me 24 miles. So now what? Well, I've got no more substitutions to do, I don't think, but I've got two equations and two solutions. So I should be able to solve for them decently. There's no division I can do right now, unfortunately. So I'm tempted to just say that t is 24 over x plus 3, and then plug that in for t. The problem is I think that's pretty similar to things I've already done, but x minus 3 times 6 minus 24 over x plus 3 equals 24. And so, I mean, this should be fine, right? It's an equation for x. So we just got to solve for x. So what should we try to do to solve for x? Well, what I'm tempted to do, actually, is multiply both sides by x plus 3. Because I could just multiply that by x plus 3. But if I multiply this by x plus 3, it cancels this, and but then leaves that there. So then I have x minus 3 times 6x, and then plus 18 minus 24. So that's minus 6 equals 24 times x plus 3. And this is what's nice. This has actually popped up every time I tried it, because this is like the third time I've tried it, believe it or not. Um, we'll do x minus 3, divide everything by 6. And so when we divide that by 6, divide that by 6. So now this is x minus 1 is 4x plus 3. And I like this better as the numbers are smaller. So that should be decent. So hopefully I don't get the same equation I got last time. And if I do, I guess I should just solve it. So I multiply every that side out, I get that. I multiply this side out, I get that. And the problem that I had is solved now. This is a different equation. This was a 7 last time. That is critical, though, because now I can factor this. x minus 9, x plus 1, so we get negative 1 and 9. And we can't have a negative speed, so our speed has to be 9. So we're going, let's maybe check it. So we got x equals 9. So what is it then? We're going 12 miles an hour the first time because we're adding. So if we're going 12 miles an hour for 24 hours. That means we're going two miles when we're going with the current, and then when we're going against the current, we're going six miles an hour, which means it's gonna take four hours. Yep, nine miles an hour, that's the move. And you see these are tough. You've just gotta set up, uh, set up your equations. And even though they were complicated equations, once we got right here, we have that equation, that involves two variables 
and we had a totally different equation that involves two variables. So we know we should be able to solve it. Let's see if the textbook did anything easier, though. It's actually this right here. See, they went and added them together. Well, they did... Oh. So that's really not any... You see, they actually arise at the same thing that I did. But what they did is they set up these two times. So they did time as distance over rate. Yeah, they always do all these complicated stuff. But yeah, they solved both of them for time. That's what they did. They had their two different times. And then they solved both of them for time. And then they added them together, and that was six. That makes sense. Okay. Good problem. Good problem.